You adults need to change your behavior and start controlling our world differently. Your world is mainly based on money, which is causing a lot of short and long-term problems for us and our future generations. For example, the movie Gravity cost $100 million, and it was still a bad movie. Compared to, for instance, the space program of India, it goes to Mars, only cost $79 million, and can be very important for our future. I don't know about you, but I noticed something odd there, and I think I know why. It is because it's crazy and doesn't make any sense. Our planet is being destroyed only to make money, which doesn't even make us any happier. And if it does anything at all, it is that it makes us feel more empty inside. This is just one simple example out of many to give. The rich people are only becoming richer and their group is shrinking, while the poor people are becoming even more poor and their group is growing. Almost all of these rich people only care about themselves and their money, so we find the terrifying idea that the same people control our world and our lives. We could solve so many problems just by being more generous, changing our priorities and thinking for ourselves every, ourselves every now and then. Now that cannot be so difficult, don't you think? I'm asking you, don't let these very rich people and corrupt leaders control and destroy our world, and please do something about it. Our governments are lying to us and creating false wars just so they can earn more money. They don't give any value to human rights. Ordinary people are sent into war zones and get killed while these corrupt leaders stay home. You are slowly becoming a tax slave and you just sit here doing nothing about it. There are a lot of people still dying unnecessary each minute from hunger and disease. And you know that, but you are doing nothing about it. Instead, you expect the system to fix itself. And that is sad, because the thing is, the system isn't broke, it is built this way, and we have to make a new one. So don't just sit there and knock your head, thinking he's right, and then go on with your lives, doing nothing with all these things I'm telling you now. You could easily mistake yourself in the urgency of this. Perhaps not only you, but also, perhaps not only we, but also you will one day become a victim. Don't think nor say you can't do anything about it, because you know you can. Just imagine, one day you will die, and what will you be remembered as? Go out there and make a difference, because when you're dead, that's the only thing that really matters. I can't understand why most people don't see the urge of accomplishing anything more than a 9-to-5 job. I am Mick. I once had a very serious accident with my bike and almost died. It made me think about, we, about how it would be remembered as, and I realized it would not be very special. So I wanted to change that. I am willing to improve the world for whatever it takes. And how about you? If we continue this way, we will have a terrible future lying ahead of us, with a small minority having control while everyone else is working in their favor. That is not what I want to be my future, and I don't want to be yours either. The world leaders act as if they have plenty of solutions for a rapidly growing list of problems, and then they just sit there, destroying the world in their favor. They um, just, the me just because the media is of just because the media is saying that it's normal doesn't mean that it is. A lot of what the media says is wrong because they are being paid to say certain things and they hold back much information that really matters. So may I advise you to use your own eyes and ears and think for yourself every now and then because it, and don't just swallow all they say because it will leave no space for your own opinion which is superior in many ways. It is also thanks to the media that our culture has developed the mentality that you should live and act by the norm of the rich people. They and our capitalistic Western mindset keep us from evolving as a society. It is destroying the world for the benefit of a small minority that control our world. These people are not the kings, queens, or presidents of countries. These people are leaders of huge corporations, mainly banks, pharmaceutical, and food companies. Let me give you another example. You have developed a new method of getting natural gas out of our planet. It is called fracking. It is basically like taking a painkiller. It doesn't solve anything at all. It only suppresses the early signs of a lack of fossil fuels and makes problems worse by harming the environment with the hundreds of chemicals that are being used in the process. And things like this are sad, because we could be so much more than what we are now today, but you act like sheep, we are afraid of the wolves, we aren't going anywhere, even though we could overpower the wolves with a million to one if we would stand together. But most of you are too selfish and don't look at the long-term consequences of your actions, nor do you try to improve the world for the better. 
The majority is afraid to do the things they really want to do because they don't want, they want to fit in their social group and don't want to lose their privileges. They are subconsciously clipping each other's wings and keep them from flying, which is extremely wrong. You play a dirty game because when someone tries to clean it, they are probably going to lose. And yes, I point out a lot of things that need to be changed regarding money, but it doesn't mean money is bad. I don't have any problems regarding money, but I have a problem with the way we use money and the value we give it. It is very important for us to realize that we are all part of this together and that we have a shared responsibility to maintain and improve our future, because it doesn't seem like we are able to leave Earth anytime soon. Have you ever gone out at night just for once so you can realize what really counts in life? I mean, do you really think we live on this planet to make money? The fact that we even exist is amazing, and you think making money is our goal in life? Wake up. You're being kept at sleep. Life is a very rare and fragile thing, and I don't claim to know that we are the only life in the universe, but if we are, it is our responsibility to maintain it and ultimately bring it to other planets. We should work, all work together to maintain our species. We should make a space program which will bring us to other planets to maintain our species, and above all, we should create a completely new system with a completely different use of money. Money won't solve our problems, new plants and a new system will. That is where time and energy should go. But you're just watching the problems grow. And the worst thing is that you all know these terrible things are going on, yet you still act as if this is normal and will be solved soon. When in reality, you're only feeding the problem. For me and many others, it's depressing to see how the majority continues to destroy the world while everyone else, well, they don't seem to care. There's absolutely no reason to put your house full with stuff, your body full with food, or to fill your time with non-stop activities, unless you want to suppress reality. It is most important for us to realize that we are all part of this together and that we have a shared responsibility to improve our future. I want you to realize that these problems also involve you and that you have the power to solve them. It takes an average man to donate to a charity, it takes a good man to create a charity, but it takes a real man to be willing to leave everything behind just so he can change the world for the better, even if he doesn't get any credits for it. And how about you? Thank you.